Bruce from Safari and uh, the RAM upgrade, the system in there is underpinned by a CAN NEMA backbone and the cables from that to each of the devices are plug and play. So this is straight out of the marine industry. It means that the a do-it-yourself person or the contractor can't make a mistake with this cabling. It just screws in, it's waterproof, it's tight, it's shockproof. And we've got everything including the media batteries, the Scotty, uh, the switches uh, on the can. The important thing is the start touch is also displaying the batteries, the charge and all the conditions in parallel to the Victron Turbo. Now the eight button switch has a simple four pin plug on the back to the NEMA cable. It custom engraved, they're back lit and when they're activated uh, they will light up. Uh, we're demonstrating here the amber and the white light and you can have two-way switching so whatever's on this side of the canopy you can have identically on the other side all the lights in the canopy here are dimmable uh, just holding the button down will dim and we can have up to six buttons activating one light so not only can you have two-way but you can actually have three-way four-way five-way and you'll see later that that can be bluetooth or the star touch We've also installed in here the Starlink, just put it in very nicely and we're using the original GCI uh, fabrication there, there's no additional metal in this job, we've just fitted exactly in behind the standard GCI. The two media batteries here are 200 amp hour each at 12 volt equivalent and uh, they're tucked in there, we don't need to see them because we can turn them on and off from the outside, I'm going to show you the button in a minute and we can also see the cells inside so here we are turning the battery off if you have a look in the top of that media battery you'll see some green lights are going from five lights down to one that's turning off and the second one is also turning off and now i'm touching it for one second to turn it back on so you can park this truck up and totally turn off the batteries now we're looking in the vitron display so that even though you can't see the batteries in and see the leds by going into the battery and touching the battery and then going into the details on here, uh, Mr. Victron very kindly shows us all the details coming out of the BMS on the cell packs, tells us how many are online, tells us the install capacity slightly more, and it shows you the uh, cell voltages that you would have seen as a very, very tight number between the lowest and the highest. Let's go around to the other side again. On the driver's side here, the metal work from GCI is kept intact. That's the black section at the bottom there. We've added uh, some additional windows on there to get access to the uh, breaker switches inside and the fuses. And you'll see the Scotty in the top left there. Now, this is a standard factory alternator on the RAM. Uh, we're comfortably getting 2600 watts out of it. I'd say we could get a little bit more. Um, the, we haven't taken it at cruising speed yet. Uh, the switches on the front here are the 240 and the solar in at the bottom there and an additional uh, Anderson plug out. You can see the switches there. It's a 3000 inverter here and you'll see between the Scotty and the 3000 inverter the star light at the top up there. It actually has little LEDs that come on so you can actually see them. You can actually manually turn the circuits on. Now that star light is all a smart MOSFET control and uh, we're actually using German uh, uh, chips that are in there, they're MOSFETs on a chip, and it does not need any individual fusing from there going out to the lights. So we do fuse the entire starlight, but from the starlight going out to the lights, uh, no additional fusing is required. And the individual fuses are behind uh, these doors. Uh, the other thing is on the right hand side there you'll see the modem that's connected it's got a grey cable coming out of it going into the Starlink so this entire system is online it's on the Victron remote management in the cloud and then when we upgrade the Starlight software to our new Matter protocol then not only will you be able to switch from your smartphone but you'll be able to do that from anywhere. You'll be able to see your lights and if we add a camera in here you'll be able to see the camera, you'll be able to see everything from anywhere remotely and even turn switches on and off remotely. You have uh, CarPlay or Android Auto running um, on the screen natively inside the truck then you can control all the switching uh, from that with voice control so we've had a separate video that details that 
and also shows it uh, switching in the cloud. Phone solution uses the native apps on the phone and it does not require the internet. It'll operate without the internet. It'll operate with the internet from anywhere. In addition to the rubberized keypad, there's also a control point and a display in the vehicle itself. We put it down uh, below the driver's left leg there that you can look down at. It's probably not something you're going to use all the time, but you can turn uh, any of the lights on uh, from here. You can dim them, but you do need this color display here to change the color easily. You can do it on the starlight, but you don't want to be crawling into the canopy. So you can see here we're looking at driver's white here, not 100%, and by rotating that uh, dial there, we can dim it down, and you're going to see the demonstration here now and it will uh, uh, dim down, there it is, 8570, that will dim down. And uh, we can also, on the same display, uh, see the entire uh, battery condition. The Star Touch is also used to control Scotty, you can see Scotty there. And you can adjust the alternator condition, hard, medium or soft, um, all from the touch of your left hand. Of the atmosphere created by coloured lighting out in the bush. And so in here we have an RGBW light built into this canopy. It's down the centre spine. You can dial any colour of the rainbow up on it. And uh, you do that with the star touch in the front of the canopy. Uh, that coloured lighting can be uh, anywhere. It can be on the doors, it can be underneath, it can be anywhere that you want. And it's a really unique feature that we have. There's one other switching feature that we've developed here, and that's using Bluetooth. Now, it's not Bluetooth from a smartphone. It's Bluetooth from an actual four-panel switch that we've got. I'm demonstrating here turning the amber lights on and off. Uh, the application in the canopy could be that that could be sitting on one side. You don't have to run any CAN communication across. But the bigger application is if you've got the star light and the star power system in the van, you can use the switches to control all the lights around the van from the vehicle. Now, it can also be sitting in the van. So we're going to be doing a Kimberley Cruiser and a Land Rover in the next couple of weeks. And when you see that done, that customer will be able to control even their air suspension from uh, the vehicle. And here we're doing the external light, and that's going through the metal. So it's just to show you that the Bluetooth will run through the metal. Now we're looking at the solar on the top. We're getting 464 watts off this. It's a, it's a high-powered individual uh, sun power panel up here now. And you can see the Starlink on the other side. And so this gives tremendous solar. So that's the wrap on this uh, RAM upgrade. Uh, the other interesting thing is that it's very affordable. Uh, you'll see the pricing of the Starship products um, online. The media battery is more affordable than our previous batteries. And uh, the overall power of this for the simplicity, weight, and the clean execution of it is uh, second to none. I've got to say, how good is that?